my system for her. That's why I want to Yes. Uh, and is there, not is there, but what is the challenge of playing this type of team that has a lot of youth trying to show off their, you know, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to get a roster spot next year, um, having not seen them maybe as much as you actually did their guys? Uh, we just got to have a professional approach, you know, and just, you know, continue to work on ourselves and what we need to do on both sides of the basketball. So our mindset is, you know, we, we know we have a stake and, you know, we want to try to go in and win these next two games. And so our focus has to be on us. Hey, it's, uh, Ty, good to see you. Uh, you said after the Lakers game, you guys didn't like the way that you, that you finished the game and um, the way that they were denying uh, Kawhi and things like that. What do you want to see from your guys when they're on the floor um, to basically close games out better from what you, what you, uh, with these last two games? Um, just taking care of the basketball, getting back and getting matched up and made baskets. And then, like you said, when teams are guarding Kawhi, like that, just continue to run all of this, not get stacked. See, uh, the players that the Portland does have out there, uh, Shane Sharp looks like he's an old comeback player after a couple games off and everything. Uh, obviously, top 10 pick and everything. Um, what have you seen from him over the course of the year, and what do you think he can be capable of in an elevated role? Yeah, um, just his growth. I think, you know, I understand the NBA game. Um, he's gotten way better defensively, and then offensively, the game is slowing down for him. So he knows how to score, pick and choose his spots, when to score, and how to score. And so just talking to Chauncey about it the last couple of days, he's, he's really excited about this young kid and how he's been playing, how he's been chilling and growing as a player. As outside of Shaden, uh, are, there, are there other players that, as that team has played over the last week or so, that you kind of noticed and kind of stood out you know, and want to be aware of? Yeah, um, man, I like what, he, what he's done. You know, um, very crafty point guard. Don't care what that issue, but very crafty point guard gets to his spots. And, um, you know, watch the game when he played against Memphis. He played really well against John Moran, so he's not scared, he's not afraid. And um, just seeing him develop. Hi, Ty. Hello. I'm Ty. Good morning. Um, Western Conference being so crazy bunched up this year. Why is it like that? All the injuries. Yeah, all the injuries um, throughout the course of the season. You know, a lot of guys being out. You know, Zion being out, Ingram being out, Steph being out. Kawhi, PG being out, um, you know, KD being out, Booker being out. So it's just like, you know, a lot of great players just being out. And so, you know, when you're missing 25, 30 games from your best, you know, one or two players, um, you know, it's just, it's just tough. And so that's why everybody's so much up right now. And so, um, you know, it is what it is. Good to see you. Um, what progress can you say PG has made for his next steps? I can't remember. Spirit has been good. What does it mean that he's with the team? I can't hear you. What does it mean for him to be with the team today? I can't hear you. What does it mean for him to be able to be with the team today? Oh, I mean, I mean, anytime we have any players, they, you know, they, they go through an injury, they be able to start coming back around again. I was just good to see him. I know that there's a, a lot of uncertainty and variables that you can't control but, as a coach, but what's it like going into the postseason? whether that's playing or a first round series, knowing that you have Kawhi on your side playing at this sort of level as he has since January. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see. You know, like I said, he's playing at this extremely high level, and um, we want to keep that going. We know when he gets to the playoffs, he makes it even another level. And so, um, you know, just continue to keep doing what we've been doing. You know, my biggest thing is just um, getting better defensively, locking into what we need to do, and, um, you know, cut down on the, on the breakdowns, game plan mistakes, and uh, that's what we got to get better at, especially going into the playoffs. I uh, maybe a bit of weird, but like with, with, with two games left, there's like a thousand scenarios. Um, you know, you drop a game here. Are you like a believer in like basketball gods or like playing the game the right way? I'm scared right. of the game. Yes. Yeah. No matter what. Or maybe you don't treat the game right. Basketball gods will they make you pay for it. Would you believe that as a player too? Yes. And I want to say congratulations to Noah Eagle. <laughs> yeah, with your next adventure, we're going to miss you, brother. So we got a jersey for you.